Hello everyone, thanks for coming to the Japan Food Channel. Today this is the great sushi we're going to learn how to make. This thing is fantastic and you're going to love it, I promise. So if you look at it, you know, it just looks so good. And what we do is we start, we're using fried shrimp on the inside. Not tempura shrimp, but actually fried shrimp. And oh, this is really good. A little bit of crunchiness in the middle of the roll that you're really going to love. And after we put in the shrimp, we're going to go ahead and put across our cucumber strips like so. And what else we're going to add is cream cheese right in the middle there. All this stuff comes together and just has an awesome taste that you're really going to like. So once we have that lined up like so, we're going to go ahead and roll it up. Now, you notice when we went over, if it's a little full, be gentle, you know, work it nice and easy and use the firm but gentle grips to get it all together. The cream cheese will give a little bit. You don't want to mash everything together, but you do want it to kind of solidify into that solid tight roll that you're looking for. Now the next thing we're adding is the eel and the eel is just great. You know, if you don't know how to work with the eel filet, check out the link there. We show you how to cut it and prepare it and it comes with the eel sauce. For those of you who haven't had it, it's nice, it's sweet. Oh, it just tastes so good. And once you get your eel sliced up and put on there with the unagi sauce, that's the eel sauce, it's a little bit sweet. You can kind of see some of it on the plate. This roll really comes together. The, the shrimp fry is a touch heavy with the cream cheese, but then you got the sweet eel on top, and this is great. Now we put the saran wrap on top, then get our bamboo mat, and kind of tighten it up a little bit to make sure that that eel on top isn't going anywhere. It's gonna stay as one piece with that whole roll. That's what it should look like. Then you get your sashimi knife. If you don't have one, check out our blog. Amazon sells them for 12 bucks. It's a great investment. Ours is a touch dull, but trust me, you're not gonna regret picking it up. It just slices through anything. And so what we're gonna do here is just cut one half of it to show you how to cut it. And then we take it out and we put it on the plate like so. And you can see that this thing just really, really grabs your attention on the plate and just says, eat me, eat me. This thing is great. Be sure to try this one at home because you're gonna love it, guaranteed. Thank you for watching. We appreciate likes and comments. Please remember to subscribe, and we look forward to seeing you in two weeks. Thanks.